Hey, check this out. The garage door is wide open because spring has sprung here in Indiana. Well, not exactly. It's 55 degrees. Got my sweatshirt on, but I'm tired of the door being shut. I want some daylight in here. I just feel so much more gooder. But besides that, let's talk body lines. So you look over my shoulder here. Look at this fender down the side of the car. That line is very defined. And this is just primer. You can see the top to bottom, nice clean line. Get here to the front of the fender, well, not so much. It kind of disappears. The reason being, surprise, surprise, 50-year-old cars had some collision damage. Had a little bit of dings and dents down this body line. I hammered it all back out, and I got it really close, I thought, but the line, the body line, just kind of disappeared from me hammering and dolling. It's just not an area that I can, I guess I don't have the skill set to actually get that line put back in by just the sheet metal alone. I say, like, yeah, I got it close, but we're just not there. So how am I going to finish it now? Well, we can use a little bit of body filler, not in excess of maybe an eighth of an inch, but we need to use some body filler to fill in the imperfections from hammering and dolling. And, and we're also going to redefine that body line. I'm going to show you how to get that done here. So let's get started. I'm going to start here with my longest block I have here available. Put 80 grit sandpaper out. I'm just going to kind of hit this back and forth and see how bad it really is. It might bring us into light what I've got to work with. Um, but the same idea, I'm going to work from our imaginary body line, which isn't there yet my 45 or 30 degree angles back and forth and get the bottom cut. I'm gonna do it here just where it should be and do the top and see what it looks like here. All right, we got low spot, low spot, low spot. I'm starting to see some stuff coming through. Now that line is supposed to be just below these holes. These three holes where the word firebird goes on, and of course your firebird badge goes on here. That line is supposed to come into the fender just below these holes. Right now it's kind of showing up almost above. Um, we'll have to work this out here. So. And I'm just cutting the primer off, basically opening the face of that up a little bit to kind of see where we're at, but not looking too bad. gets me an idea you can see the the highs and lows in that body line it should be a nice clean body line through here but you can tell it's kind of a dent a dent and a low spot here that's why it's not as fine as it should be i'm assuming something probably came along and just kind of scraped the side of this car um i don't think it's excessive but what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and hit the whole area of something here to make sure my body filler bites into this real good i don't want to take too much primer off Now what I'm gonna do is just take some body filler and just go past that line just a little bit because I don't feel or see any deviations below, above or below the body line. I think we'll be all right. All right, that should work. Now what I'll do is mix up some filler and we'll come across just that whole body line and see how close we can get it. All right, what I've got here, about a golf ball size glob of body filler. Not really a whole lot, probably more than I need. And I'm gonna try the metal spreader out. My thoughts here is we'll get this thing spread out and we'll see if we can't uh, kind of get the body line close to back into shape here. Now again, we're not using a large amount of filler.
know what I'm doing, of course, I'm gonna lose my holes. It looks like they're actually gonna fill in, but I'll have to pop those back out. Metal filler. I'm not a metal spreader. This first time I've actually really used this. I'm for doing this kind of work, but uh, I'm beginning to kind of like these metal spreaders. They uh, do a nice job. And these are just your Harbor Freight special ones. So. I mixed up entirely too much filler. And that body line is supposed to come in just below the holes here. So what I'm going to try to do... I'm trying to get this to lay out smooth. And then I'll kind of put a, a line back in it here. Way too much. I guess body work's one of those things that uh, I don't claim to be a professional, but I get by and I get the results, but it's probably an easier, better way to do a lot of this stuff. But we'll get it done here. Now, top's looking pretty good. Now I've kind of passed, you can see the hole here, here, and uh, somewhere around there should be the third hole for the Firebird badge, right there. All right, so. Now, like I said, 90% of this is probably going to get sanded off. It doesn't all stay on the fender. So I hate wasting stuff, but uh, it's kind of how it works out here. That's looking better. Now, come back down. Now, my, right now, the line between the two is just above the hole, so I need to do this. I'm going to try to, you know, I guess like a snow plow or something like that. We're going to try to push it below the holes. But either way, we're gonna file it out with the sanding block and then we'll get it squared up. That, that should do it. And that should take care of the little deviations and the waviness in the fender too. But I can see hole, 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 hole. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Man. I think leave that be. Let that cure off. Now you see, it's nice to find line. It's not exactly where it needs to be. It's a little high, but when I sand the top, I'm actually gonna bring that line down a little bit. And when I sand the bottom, I can dial it right in where I need it to be. So I should have enough filler there to do this. So I'll let this thing pop off, let it set, let it cure, and we'll come back and give it a shot and see what it looks like after we sand it. Hey, one more thing. Before this cures all the way, I almost forgot. Just go ahead and push the putty out of the holes. It makes your life a whole lot easier. I got a little old screwdriver I use. There we go. It's a whole lot easier to do that while it's still kind of pliable. Now you can actually see a line kind of poking in just below the holes there, so this might work. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. It's actually set up here pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start filing on this with a sanding block and see if we get this thing cleaned up. But we're gonna hit it with the 80 grit to get the shape. But like I said, you can actually kind of see that line now when just the filler, but just using the spreader. So again, we're gonna start working the top down to where our line is going to be. Then I'll show you how to keep that line nice and straight. All right, we're gonna start sanding. Two hands on the block, don't put a lot of pressure on it. Now this fender has actually got a, like a, a radius to it this way also, so it's not just a flat panel. So you gotta keep that in mind when we're working this, but we're gonna try to get this thing to line up nice. And I anticipate probably sanding most of this stuff back off that I just got done putting on here. I'm using 80 grit to get the shape really good first. Then I'll probably go down to like a maybe 180, then 320 by the time it's all said and done. Now think about the difference in color here. You can see where I sand and didn't sand. It's actually highlighting our line really good now. I'm 
keep changing directions so I don't get like a weird wear pattern in it, but looking pretty good. But I need to keep sanding till this line actually goes a little lower than where I want it to be. Here's about where it needs to be. Here I'm too high and here I'm too high. So I need to keep sanding in this area here to bring this line down lower. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight yet, but I need this, what is this face here that I'm sanding to be level or match the contour with the fender, but I need this line to come down further because when I sand the bottom, that's why I'm gonna fine line and define where I want it to be. Now it's starting to come down. So it's about, typically the body line is about a quarter inch below these body holes here for the emblems. starting to burn through the filler as you can tell not gonna need a whole lot here we're not really exceeding what you'd only put on a dent in the flat area of the panel but the unfortunate thing is it's right there on the body line so we have to reshape the body line back into the car all right i think we got the top pretty good i still got a little spot here it's a little bit low it's not going to go with there. So a glaze coat probably go over top of that or finishing putty. So I think it may have a little bit of a dent or a low spot there too. Yeah, just a little bit right there. But the idea here, we'll get this defined. That's looking pretty good here. Again, this block has enough flex to it, it'll actually kind of match the contour of that fender. So I'm kind of, just enough pressure to kind of, kind of make it go around the corner, so to speak, but looking pretty good. All right, now I'm definitely, I think, low enough on our panel that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start sanding back up this way, but I don't want to push that line up past our hole, so I got to make sure I stop at the right point. That's where the tape's going to come into hand. Let me show you how this works. All right, I wanted to get you up here close, and I see you're going to burn through the bare metal here. A little bit of primer, 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 bare metal, bare metal. So you can see a little bit of a dent there. So there's how it has some damage, but the thickness here, if you look inside the holes, I wanted to zoom this in the best I can, but clean this hole out here but you can tell i'm not getting an extreme amount of fill on it you see the metal we're maybe a 16th or 64th of an inch of body filler so we're not getting an extreme amount of filler in the holes or on the panel we're just trying to reshape what we've lost from that collision damage so now what i'm going to do next so i'll get the tape out and i'll show you how to get this line because here now our body line essentially is going if i were to paint this right now our bio ammo goes zigzag up, down, and kind of just kind of fade out here a little bit. So let me show you how this is going to come into help. All right, first things first, wipe off all the loose dust you can get off of here. And then we're going to figure out where our line is going to be. That's what the tape is for. And we're going to put the piece of tape as a guide so I know where I'm going to sand to. Now I know this is below right now because what I, I can't see underneath the tape. So I want to use two pieces. This piece of tape is gonna be where I want the line to be. And then I will butt up another piece of tape right to it. And then I'll peel this one back off. So I want to be about like so. I'll pull that tight. I will come back now. Lay this piece of tape right up against it because right now i were down it's got a nice clean line just below our holes and that's where i want my body line to be when it's all said and done so now i'll take this piece of tape and butt right up against that one okay i'll stick that on really good now when i'm sanding i have a guide We'll do the same thing, you know, 30 degrees back and forth from the panel up to that line. And you'll see then this line, of course, once you start sanding, it's it's gonna look all the same. But if I leave the tape on here, I shouldn't cut any of that material off. I should sand right up to that line. So you can see my marks, I'll start doing it here. Now I'm sanding right to that line. I can get this all planed off nice and flat. And hopefully, when I'm all said and done, I should have another 
nice clean body line back in the fender. Again, keep the uh, sanding block parallel to that line and cutting right up to it and then stopping. Let's keep working all the way back to here and get that spot to see here. where it's not been sanded, so this is really high right here. So I'm gonna sand that flat and stop at that line. See if I get you in here closer, maybe. See, I'm working only here. I'm not really gonna get too much out of this, but same thing, I'm gonna try to keep that block parallel to my tape. I'm gonna keep filing this away, kind of in an X pattern, until I get it all cut out. Now at this point, I just have a little bit of a low spot and I still have some highs here. You can see the darker color filler and the light color here. So I gotta keep cutting that out there. Now of course, we don't have to get this all in one pass. So let's say um, it didn't look quite right. Do the same thing, put another coat of filler on it, sand it and redefine your body line again. So you may not get it on the first go and that's all right. Thinned it out of the spreader. It looked a little thick back here, so I'm working on cutting that back out. Now, I've got it all sanded now with the 80 grip both directions. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to see it, but we're going to peel this tape off and see if we can get any kind of a defined line or not out of this. Uh, and the answer is yes. I can actually see a separation of the two like planes now. Look at that nice, clean, straight line. Now, this isn't ready to be painted. This isn't ready to actually be, say, blocked even more. It actually needs probably some filler. I got a little bit of a low spot right here. You can see the filler stayed that dark color. So obviously the, the damage is up a little higher and I didn't see that, but it's so, yeah, I can actually feel it so minute. So I need a little bit more filler work, but this is how I'll do the same thing. I'll use the, the finishing compound or like the, the easier to sand body filler stuff or glaze coat, everyone has their own name for it. We'll do the same thing, you know, skim coat and all that. I'll block it the same, put my tape right back on there. But now I have a nice line going down the fender. So if I could actually get the angle of the camera right, you can actually see it actually showing back up. So that's how I get the lines to come back in nice and straight and I can get it cut where I need it to be. Now this is kind of an extreme situation because it's such a large area, but sometimes you just have a small dent on the fender and you can still do the same technique. If you had a little ding right here in that uh, body line, you can still use the tape if you need to as a reference to get it where you need to be. Hey, so there you have it. That's how you get a body line back into a fender. At least that's how I've done it. It seems to work really nice. And again, I don't even think we're anywhere near the eighth inch, more like a sixteenth of an inch. A little more here on the back, but I have bare metal, bare metal, bare metal. It's all starting to poke through. So I am relatively super thin within the specified range of an eighth inch or less. I mean, maybe, maybe a credit card? I don't know, but you get the idea. Got it really close. And this is what this is for. We're not sculpting the car. I know we have a line now, but... We're not reconstructing this car. I've seen a half inch, three quarter inch, inch thick of body filler. So this thing is all good now. I'll go ahead and as I said, I got a little dent here to fill. I'll do this in the meantime. I got some little imperfections here in the wheel well. So I have some more filler work to do, but I wanted to get you this part highlighted literally in two ways. Highlighted by line, highlighted for you. That way in case you need to do some kind of repair like this on your car. So anyway, I got a bunch more footage. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into exactly 100% next, but um, I'm hoping to get really close to get this thing painted. Of course, Firebird Fest coming up in May. Hope to see you guys there. If you could let me know if you plan on attending, 
hit me up in the messages here from now on. Let me know, hey, I'm going to be there. And let me know. And, of course, I'll be there. Hopefully, Brian and Louie will also be there. And a handful of other folks that I know are hoping to make it. So, hopefully, this year, the weather is a whole lot more good. It rained a lot last year, but still had a phenomenal time. So, enough of all that. I'm going to grab the camera, whatever I decide to do. I'll get you back out here. Of course, anything I can help you with. Again, this is one of those viewer questions. Hey, if you got a situation where the byline's been damaged, how do you get it back in? Well, this is why I wanted to do this video, to help show you how we get it done. So nonetheless, it looks a whole lot better. I'll grab the camera next time and hope to see you guys then.